Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to import barcodes to your Airtable base. So you should be able to do this in about four or five steps. It is pretty quick and simple. Uh, you will be able to access the script and the base template in the description below. So to get started, I will go over the uh, to-do list here. So we need to set up the table. We'll review the API documentation in GitHub that accesses the a barcode API. We'll add the scripting extension. We'll copy the script to import the barcodes. And then one last step that's pretty easy, we'll add an additional field that will uh, allow you to call that script in the scripting extension. So to get started here, we'll go to the products table. Now, what you'll have to do uh, if you want to build it on your own, if you're following along, create a new table, name it products. And it is important to uh, follow the same naming format as I create in this video, as that is how the scripting, uh, the pre-written script is set up. Uh, if you want to change any of the field names or table names, that is fine, but you'll have to make sure that you update that accordingly in the script. So uh, we've added the products table and now we will add the SKU field and the product field. So that's a, the SKU field is a barcode field type and the product is a single line text. So here we'll name this SKU and change that to a barcode. And product, which is a single line text. So we have those two looked after. Now we'll create a uh, barcode attachment field and a barcode API link, which is a formula. So barcode and this is barcode API link. And we'll leave it as a single line text for now. We'll go back over here and you will be able to get this in the base template or in the description below and copy this over. Change this to a formula field and paste that in. So what this is doing is this here is the API link that will be called in the script to access and create the barcode image. Um, so the format for that, you can find in this GitHub file. If you scroll down to online barcode API, you will see all the parameters that you are able to change and a sample of the link. So right now, if I search this, it would create a barcode in the barcode um, format code 128 using that alphanumeric code there. And that's the size of it, the rotation, and it's going to include the text of this inside of it. So I'll just do a quick search of that. And as you can see, it inverts the barcode uh, with those with that alphanumeric code. And if you scan this with a barcode reader right now or with your phone, it would populate that alphanumeric code. So we need to make this in our formula a variable so that each product has a different identifier. So how we will do that is create a concatenate field. We'll take the first section of the a link and then that will need to be in quotes from there to there and then we'll add a comma and the variable so that variable is calling this field here and this will have a unique alphanumeric code here that uh, represents the your SKU and then here's the rest of the text accordingly and these are all variables or parameters that can be changed accordingly to um, this documentation. So that is how that is set up. Let me create a couple example products. So we'll create a hoodie and we'll do a hat and we'll do pants. 
and we'll just give these a random skew for the time being. So as you can see here, the formula will populate this skew inside the link here. So if I click on this now, it will bring me to this page with that size of barcode. So from there, the next step, we've completed that first step now, and we've reviewed the API documentation. Now we'll add the scripting extension. So go over to extensions, add an extension and scripting. And we can rename this extension to import barcodes so we know what it does. And then also in the description below, the next step here, step four is the code. So we can copy all that go over here and paste it in. So that step is now complete. And here's where I was talking about the um, keeping the table name and field names. So the table here and these field names consistent with this video. But if you do change those, make sure that you update them here accordingly. So if you change the products table to something else like items or something along those lines, make sure you go into the script and you change this accordingly and so on. So each of these are um, looking at different fields or tables within the uh, database. So that's pretty straightforward on that front. So now we have the product and we have the product SKU number or barcode that we want to generate. We have the link that's calling in this variable and we have the script added in here. So from here, if we click run, we will see it creates and imports each of these images. Uh, it does have a transparent background, so it's hard to see by selecting that directly. But if you go over, create a gallery view and customize cards, we'll bring in that information. So we can see here that the hat has the SKU of 9874W. And if you scan this with a barcode reader, it would produce those that alphanumeric code there. So that is pretty much it for um, how to set up that portion of the import. Um, one other thing that you could do, and it looks like here for some reason, this one did not populate correctly. So you can always go back and run it again. And now it has worked this time. So another thing you can do is we'll insert a new field and we will call this import barcodes. Make it a button field. And the action you will select is run script and select the dashboard and import barcodes, create field. So now we can see if I change this to that didn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll leave it at that for now. I'll actually, I'll add a couple more characters here so that we can see. So this barcode should get much longer. We do import barcodes. That's just saying that it's updating all of them and not just the one that I selected here, but that is fine. It will create and import the new barcode for you. So the add button field was the last step. So that is pretty much it for uh, how to generate and import barcodes. It is pretty easy. The key is setting up this um, URL the way that you want it uh, beforehand and then this script should do the job for you. So any questions, leave them in the comments below and uh, hopefully this is useful to you and your company.